So, here's my first print on the CR-10S5, my first large-scale print, I should say. This particular part is the front of a robot that I had designed. Here's the little battery-operated one. Let's get it closer for scale. You can see my hand. And this is just the front part. So again, for scale, you can see I scaled it up three times which uh, I could have went a little bit bigger, but I wanted to make sure the other parts would fit on the build plate as I go along. And uh, really turned out well. There's uh, very little stringing. Let me set this robot over here. Very little stringing. And the main thing I was worried about was uh, any lifting or warping. And I only had a little bit of lifting in this one corner here. It's up about two millimeters. So I think uh, I can probably bend that back with a heat gun. Total uh, print time for this part was 60 hours. I was printing at uh, 0.2 and I had a max speed of 50. So quality wise, like I say, I haven't done any cleanup yet. Once I clean some of these bugaboos off. In the end, the part's going to get painted, but uh, actually quite pleased with how it turned out. Didn't have any problems with the machine. Well, almost had a problem. It came out once and had found that the uh, spool, the way I have it mounted on this one due to the size of it, the spool facing backwards, when I was feeding off the top, that's the same direction that would thread the nut on. So it had actually threaded the nut off. This, this took about 40 hours. The spool had come off and was laying over here on the floor, but it was still spooling off. The machine was still printing when I came in, so when I came back in, I simply put the spool on so that when it's on the bottom, the direction it turned would be tightening. And they also put a block of wood under there to make the reel want to stay on there, even if the nut came off. And I never had the, the problem come back, so. Turned out really well, really quite pleased. I wasn't quite sure how to prepare the, the glass bed. I mean, uh, I've been printing on Build Tac and Flash Forge's version of Build Tac. And then with my purse, I've been printing on PEI. And I, tr I tried some PEI, as you can see down here, on my smaller CR10, but I didn't really like it. Just nothing would stick to it on there. I don't know why. Maybe it's the brand of the PEI. But uh, when it came to this big one, I had to decide what I was going to try and to cover that whole bed with masking tape just seemed like a, a ridiculous task. And every time I use masking tape, parts stick. They stick to the point that when you take them off, you ruin the tape. And I went, with, I've got a lot of parts to print on this. Do I want to tape it up every time? So I tried the one thing that a lot of you guys have used and I've never used before is I went out and bought the cheapest can of hairspray I could find. So you get this huge can of Rave for a, a dollar something. I can't remember now. It was under two bucks though. So I put a coat of that on there and let it dry. And it actually held the part to the glass quite well. Like I say, with the exception of this one corner. I would have liked to have used glue stick because I know glue stick works. But again, can you imagine moving a glue stick back and forth over that entire plate? That could, uh, that could take some time. So I, I didn't go that route either. So there's, there's part one, there's the front, and what I plan on printing next will be the what I call the main body. It'll be this whole side part, and then finally there's a back piece. I, I've chopped it up that way so that I don't have to print with any supports, you know, so you could print just the front. In the case of this, my original design, the front was held on with screws, and um, I probably will change the mechanism too. And this one, the whole point was to have a body that rocked as it walked. And I'm going to keep that, but I don't know that I'm going to uh, stay with the same mechanics that I that I used in here. I'm definitely going to change the legs to, to uh, make them a little less chubby, because I'm going to have a lot more room in here where I can deal with that. But, uh, well, we'll get to that when we get that far. So next part's going to be the main body. We'll see how that goes if... If more PLA arrives in the mail today, because uh, as you can see, it took pretty much the bulk of this roll of black, and I don't really care what color the PLA I use. I'm mean, uh, painting this part in the end anyway. 
Okay, so there's uh, my CR10 S5 first large-scale print test, and I'd say it went quite well. I'm, I'm very happy.